conversation uh, once we start talking about your experience with the course um, and what you've experienced by taking action and actually going out doing appointments, giving quotes, um, getting a crew together, things like that. Are you okay with that? Sure, yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Um, so if you don't mind, I know you're busy. I don't know how much time you have, but we can get right into it if you want. No, no, we're good. Cool. Because what I'll do is I'll just kind of, I'll, I'll cut up the video to where it kind of starts now <laughs> or something like that. You know what I mean? Wonderful. Um, so if we could, you know, maybe tell us a little bit about what you were looking for and before you found us and what your thought process was when you saw the uh, offer to help you build this cabinet business. Sure. Um, you know, I had no really expectations about it. Really, when I when I initially contacted you guys, I had got in the construction business due to the fact that I wanted to lower my overhead costs and increase my profits on my mm -hmm. flips or homes that I was doing. Sure. So with that in mind, I thought it might be a good business opportunity. So you guys kind of piqued my interest with that uh, into getting in the custom cabinets because we do everything else in the homes and we get asked all the time about cabinets and, and this and that and the other. So um, I kind of went in with an open mind with you guys and, and wanted to, to listen to what you guys had to say and, uh, and learn as much as I possibly could. Uh, after meeting with you guys and talking, I was apprehensive at first uh, just because things were moving so fast and uh, I used to do things I still kind of do things the old school way uh, but I do believe in technology so uh, I was apprehensive at first and then you guys upon talking with you multiple times uh, I really got comfortable with what you were doing and just decided to just jump in and take action yeah and, and you definitely did you, you mind going over kind of your process when you got access to the course and what you did with it Right, right. Well, I immediately jumped in and I went through the course from front to back, uh, uh, not not as thoroughly as I could, but just I really wanted to see what everything was. So I skimmed over everything really quick and then I started deep diving into the into the different sections uh, and really learning them as much as I could. So uh, I immediately went out and bought equipment that, that you guys uh, said to to, uh, to get and it was very specific on which store to go to and what exactly to get and so uh and then i started taking the steps in place like getting my llc together and getting together just different uh things that i needed to get the business up and running that you guys had had told me that i needed in the course so started doing that and then i even went a step further and i kind of got on home advisor and then i started uh i opened a profile and then i just threw some money down and then leads started coming in and that's kind of when it snowballed uh and like I told you guys, guys can have a long runway with this thing, uh, and you guys will hold their hand the whole way to take off, or some guys really have a short runway, and I think that was with me. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't anything I don't think that I did wrong. I was just uh, more coachable and, and uh, yeah. open to what you guys had to say, and then I just took action. And so once the lead started coming in, I guess with my uh, construction background, I just kind of took that, and it was a natural progression into me just getting my first couple of jobs and then things started snowballing yeah and that's what was you mentioned it right away your coachability you know the ability to take direction and just you know trust us and trust the process and, and kind of see what happens but you're going to commit to it and that's exactly what you did and and you started getting results right away can you kind of tell us about you know when you did set everything up and you, you had the leads coming in what happened after that um, you know, it happened really fast. I went on a, a first couple of deals and then I lost, I lost the job due to bidding because I was very inexperienced on how to bid cabinets. So mm -hmm. then I, I spoke to, uh, you and Alex and then I said, Hey, what am I doing wrong? This and that. And then you guys kind of talked to me about, uh, just a few different strategies to use. And then after that, I got the next two jobs that, uh, that I went ahead and bid for, which was fantastic. Yeah, and did didn't I hear that they actually paid you for the job up front? They did the whole they job, me. the yeah, entire job. That doesn't job. usually yeah. happen. <laughs> I I think we were impressed on that one. We might we're, be able to learn uh, some closing techniques from you on that if, yeah. if you can make that happen regularly. <laughs> well, I don't know if it was me. Maybe it was just luck. I don't I know. Get, it, it that happens. does happen, you know. Luck's on our side sometimes. <laughs> Um, right. and, and, that, and that customer actually uh, 
was fantastic in a lot of different ways uh, yeah. because he deals with commercial cabinets as well. So, uh, and we won't get into that now, but yeah. there was a lot that happened with that lead that was I was very blessed with. So. Yeah, that's why I've heard it. And I'm, I'm great grateful to see that you took action and you're kind of on a journey that could take you pretty far. Um, would you mind telling us a little bit about what you're excited for, what your kind of plans are for now that you see that there's something that can be built here and you've started building it already, where do you right. see this going for you? Well, you know, once um, I started the cabinet job and, you know, it wasn't just a normal uh, refinishing job that we did. I right. mean, this was glazing and everything. I mean, so it's probably one of the most, as you, you and Alex put it, it's probably one of the most technical cabinet jobs to start with initially. So right. I had that against me as well, but it turned out perfect. We were very lessons. impressed. We were very impressed how you... Definitely take your and, and I have some great guys and I have some great coaches with you guys. So, uh, Stephen, Stephen spent about an hour and a half on the phone with me before this cabinet job. And I took just very, very detailed notes on yeah. what to do, what to expect, what to look for, what not to do, different things like little things like what kind of tape to use and just different things uh, to make the cabinets look fantastic and it worked out. But in the future, what I'm looking forward to is. Uh, really having a defined budget with what I'm doing regarding the cabinets monthly. Mm -hmm. uh, the website that you guys designed looked really good, and that's helping me with, with bidding jobs in yeah. that. So it, it's very, very helpful. Um, some of the marketing strategies that you guys have thrown out to use. Uh, right now, I'm just implementing one, but once I master that one, we're going to move into some more avenues, as we discussed with uh, Alex and Stephen here. Um, but... The sky's the limit. I mean, I would like to. Uh, my goal for this year is to do at least eight hundred thousand in the in the cabinets, just cabinets nice. alone. That's, That's not awesome. my construction business or roofing business, but this is just for cabinets, and I think I can exceed that. So. That's the first year. First, first year. year. Yeah, and, I don't know and it's, possible. it's possible. It's definitely possible. The reason you have those expectations are because you're you're building that projection off of what you've seen you do already. So right. like, it's definitely possible. We've done, you know, beyond that ourselves by following the same process that you now had, uh, access to, um, and you're going to have our support as well to, to help you get to 800,000 and beyond. So it, it's an exciting, exciting time. Hey, Tony, I have a question being in the construction field, you know, just for others in the same field who may be interested in this. Was it, would you say, a little easier for you to get going just because you had the background and then our help, you know, getting you going? Right. You know, I believe if you're in any type, not just construction, uh, construction is going to help you work with your hands and know what to do from mm -hmm. A to Z. But I believe in just talking with people. And if you have a little bit of sales and maybe a little bit of marketing background, that's going to help. But uh, the biggest thing is just being coachable and being able to follow directions like, um, if, if you guys said do this, this, and this, that that's exactly what I did. So uh, I, I, I try to be a student. I don't know everything, and I'm learning every day, and that's just kind of the mindset that I take in. But I do believe that having a construction background helped me a little bit, but I, be, I believe being coachable really helped me out tremendously uh, in this whole thing. Uh, and then just talking to people, getting out there. This service speaks for itself just due to the fact that they have many different options in their budget, whether it's going to be refinishing or refacing or custom cabinets. You can really hit all high notes when it comes to customers and what they need. And so uh, when, when you explain that to them, uh, they're very open, uh, especially to what you can possibly do for their home improvement project. Awesome. Well, I, I want to respect your time um, and I appreciate you, you getting on the call. But before we leave, um, you mind offering some words to people that may be sitting on the fence or contemplating moving forward or taking the leap of faith with this process. Do you have any words for them? I, I, I do. Uh, you know, don't get in the way. Don't let yourself get in the way of your dreams. Go out there and take action. Uh, listen, hire coaches. You know, we pay Americans, uh, and I was raised this way as well, go to college and get a job and, and, and uh, you know, trade time for money. But, but what I would say is building a business has been – one of the best things for me uh, that I could have possibly done it, regarding time with my kids and my family, uh, also income that uh, I could never possibly made uh, just doing this, working a nine to five job or trading time for money, like I said. So get a coach. Uh, people pay all this money for college and stuff. 
get a coach that knows some things that you don't about what you're trying to do and follow success leaves clues. So if you follow the people that have been there, it leaves a blueprint. And if you listen to them, you can be, you can be as successful as the people that you're learning from. In half the time or less. <laughs> I agree. Definitely. I agree. Well, I appreciate that, Tony. Um, I'm looking forward to continue working with you, man. Um, if anything at all, just feel free to give us a call or a text. I appreciate it. Hey, thank you guys. You have an awesome day, bro.